this is the second film about music in Pendleton. Eileen has found her most unusual music venue, Pengi Church. We're here today at St Thomas's Church in Pendleton to find out a bit more about the role that music plays in the church. I'm uh, the Reverend Mark Howarth. I'm the parish priest here at St Thomas's, but it's only one of five churches in our team, which is, and of the three that I look after of the five, this is my, my biggest church and sort of my main church. And can you tell us about the uh, types of music that you integrate within the church? Well, in this particular building, uh, because it's the sort of building that it is, and uh, the style of worship that we uh, use most Sunday mornings, um, the, the emphasis is on fairly uh, traditional music. Uh, and that's what really people are looking for, because it fits with the building. In my other churches, we tend to uh, take different styles of music. and. Um, more in keeping with A, the wishes of the people, and B, the building that worship is conducted in. So it's fairly high church, it's fairly dignified, and uh, fairly traditional, but uh, it works. And how do you feel that uh, music helps people to worship? Well, the Church of England's currently got a, a sort of a national initiative uh, under the uh, headline, Transforming Worship, meaning that worship transforms the worshipper. Uh, so uh, the idea is that as people come to worship here week by week, Wednesday, Thursday and Sunday, um, in some way they are lifted and changed. And um, you've had some alternative uh, musicians on here, I believe you've opened the church up as a yeah, music yes. venue. Yes. Could you tell me what the idea behind that um, was? Part of the uh, situation here is we're right on the edge of the New Deal area and um, St Thomas's is regarded by New Deal as one of their uh, hub community buildings and they've been helping us to rethink uh, the internal layout of the church. Uh, part of that was to make the church available for uh, music uh, because it's a fantastic acoustic um, and a great venue for a concert and in years to come the pews will have gone and it will be chairs and it will be both a lecture theatre and a music hall as well as a church. We've made the church available to artists, rock bands, folk groups, uh, we've had Horton Weavers here, we've had Ed Blaney and uh, all his uh, crew, uh, lots of rock bands from Manchester and uh, uh, we feel um, it's done the church a lot of good, it's been great for us to have them, they've loved being here and so it seems a happy marriage of ideas.